Hello, and welcome to the Applied AI News. Today, we'll discuss the future of AI agents through the new Autogen architecture from Microsoft, proactive conversational bots with inner thoughts, and the impact of NVIDIA's Cosmos platform. On the academic side, we get into training smaller, more efficient reasoners and the surprising power of small models for complex math, while addressing data poisoning risks in medical LLMs, all pointing towards a new trend that I call inference time compute. Finally, we explore practical tools to make AI more accessible and safer. Let's start with the big picture, the industry news and standards. NVIDIA's recent announcements are truly significant. In addition to faster chips, NVIDIA is leading a fundamental shift in how we approach AI development. Their Cosmos platform, which focuses on creating synthetic video simulations to train robots and self-driving cars, is a major step towards making AI more practical in the physical world. This addresses a critical problem. How do we train AI-powered robots safely and cost-effectively? Cosmos enables us to do that in virtual environments with diverse scenarios. Imagine implications of this platform in democratization of physical AI, accelerating advancements in industries, from manufacturing to logistics. Additionally, their announcements with agentic AI platforms and their commitment to open source tools, while making Windows the platform for AI, indicate a future where more companies will have access to the benefits of intelligent agents. NVIDIA also unveiled advancements in their hardware, which will bring these computational heavy tasks, such as reasoning, down to consumer-grade machines. This is where their new RTX Blackwell family of GPUs comes in. This matters because the future of AI hinges on not just better algorithms, but how accessible the solutions are for the consumers. Another article, The Future of Jobs Report 2025 from the World Economic Forum, paints a more nuanced picture. While automation will displace jobs, it will also create many more. This means we need to not only embrace new technologies, but also prioritize res killing and upskilling programs. The report highlights that we need not just technical skills, but also distinctly human skills like creative thinking and resilience. The changing nature of work will demand lifelong learning. This will help your business plan accordingly to adapt to this rapidly evolving landscape. Shifting to AI agents, one of my top picks for this week is Autogen V0.4 from Microsoft Research. The redesigned architecture offers extensibility and robustness, allowing us to build custom agents and tools more easily. The move towards an asynchronous, event-driven system means these agents can perform complex tasks more reliably. It further allows for better observability and debugging, as well as use of memory. This is a clear move towards more stable and scalable multi-agent systems, ultimately bringing real value to companies which want to develop their own internal AI agents for various business processes. Finally, Storm, developed by Stanford, automates the creation of long-form articles like Wikipedia entries. It leverages LLMs to research a topic, generate an outline, and write the full article. CoStorm takes this a step further by using multiple specialized LLM agents that collaborate, deepen their understanding, and maintain a dynamic mind map. This modular system is customizable through an API and is a great example of how collaborative AI systems are likely to take shape in the future. I strongly suggest trying it. Now, let's move to the fascinating realm of academic and science research. It's here that we're pushing the boundaries of what AI can achieve and addressing limitations. One of my top picks for this week is an insightful paper from researchers at Google DeepMind that explores the limits of training LLMs on synthetically generated data, particularly around the question of whether a stronger model is always better for data generation. This research reveals that cheaper, weaker models, surprisingly, can be more compute optimal for training advanced language model reasoners. The reason for that is that weaker models produce diverse reasoning chains. This is significant because it challenges common practices and potentially opens doors for more efficient training methods. This leads to another top pick of the week, article R Star Math by Microsoft Research, demonstrating that small models can achieve impressive reasoning abilities in mathematics using a novel self-evolution technique, sometimes surpassing larger models on complex tasks. 
This goes against the narrative that you always need massive amounts of data and parameters. It's an important reminder that intelligent design and training methods are equally, if not more important than scaling models to absurd sizes. It is not only about the scale, but also about the methods used for training. A new work by Cerebras introduced SUPIO, a framework that significantly enhances the reasoning capabilities of the LAMA family of models. It employs test time compute techniques, breaking down problems into smaller steps, generating multiple solutions, and then selecting the best output based on confidence scoring. This method significantly improves the model's performance in challenging tasks like coding, math, and reasoning, demonstrating that more computation at inference time can make even smaller models competitive with much larger ones. This isn't about memorizing answers, but about reasoning from first principles, making LLMs more reliable and adaptable. Another important area of research focuses on AI safety and is discussed in medical large language models are vulnerable to data poisoning attacks, published in the Journal of Nature. This paper raises a serious concern, the vulnerability of medical LLMs to data poisoning. By injecting misinformation, malicious actors could manipulate these models. However, it also presents a solution, the development of knowledge graphs that verify LLM outputs. This demonstrates how crucial research into AI safety is, highlighting the importance of understanding vulnerabilities and developing effective countermeasures, especially in critical areas like healthcare. The amortized planning with large-scale transformers. A case study on chess by Google DeepMind shows how large language models can be trained for planning tasks. By training them to predict action values for new game positions, transformers can achieve human grandmaster-level play without explicit search. It is a huge step in showing the powerful generalization ability of transformers beyond text. It is not a revolution yet, but shows the potential of using transformers for tasks like planning and strategizing. Last academic paper, also a top pick of the week, multi-agent fine-tuning. Self-improvement with diverse reasoning chains addresses the limitation of diminishing returns when language models attempt to self-improve by generating their own training data. Their multi-agent approach, where a group of models specialize through independent learning and interaction, leads to more diverse reasoning chains. This diversification helps models self-improve for much longer periods. This is yet another interesting alternative to solve a real problem that LLMs and their self-improvement strategies face. Finally, let's talk about the hands-on tools that are making AI more accessible. Optilm, for example, is a proxy that aims to improve the reasoning abilities of LLMs by using state-of-the-art methods at inference time. This practical tool can be integrated with existing LLM services to improve the accuracy in tasks like coding, logic, and math. Smologence, a top pick for this week, is another example of a tool that empowers LLMs with agency by enabling them to interact with the real world by writing and executing actions as code. This approach helps AI perform more sophisticated tasks. I have provided a direct link to an example on how to use this library in the newsletter. Browser use facilitates AI interaction with web browsers, enabling automation of web-based tasks. Finally, Linearizing Llama presents a clever way to accelerate LLM inference by using a hybrid attention mechanism, reducing the computational load. These tools not only allow developers to implement these innovations into real-world projects, but also help us understand these concepts better through practice. They each provide their own unique method to help us build better and more powerful AI systems. To summarize, we've seen how NVIDIA is revolutionizing AI with its hardware and its Cosmos platform, while tools like Autogen are changing how we develop AI agents. The academic research demonstrates the potential of smaller models through innovative training methods and brings to light the importance of AI safety and the potential threat of data poisoning. Finally, we have seen a number of practical tools that enable us to bring AI into day-to-day -day life. The common thread here is clear. AI is not just an academic pursuit, it is rapidly shaping our world, impacting how we work, learn, and interact with technology. The future is not just about bigger models, but smarter and safer solutions. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.